What's going on guys, it's Tyler here. Today I want to talk about a method of cooking that has really seen a boom in popularity over the last couple of years, rightfully so, and something that you definitely should be doing. Cooking with a sous vide circulator. Sous vide literally translates to under vacuum and is a method of cooking where you take your food item, vacuum seal it, usually with fat and some herbs and spices, and you cook it in a temperature controlled water bath where you can dial in the exact temperature up to half a degree. I honestly got tired of vacuum sealing food every time I wanted to eat. I just used freezer bags. It works just fine. Sous vide cooking also requires that you sear your proteins after they come out, kind of like a reverse sear. There seems to be a little bit of hate towards sous vide cooking in the food world because traditional chefs argue that it takes away that connection to pots and pans and utensils with your food. But for me, who cares? Food turns out great. So let's talk about a few reasons why you should be doing this on your own. The most important thing for me is you get quality results every single time. And that really sounds like an infomercial, but it is the truth. Having the ability to dial in the exact temperature that you wanna cook your food at really just gives you optimal results. Whether that be cooking a steak to medium rare or cooking a chicken breast and preserving that moisture or cooking Brussels sprouts and making sure they're not mushy and falling apart. Having the ability to set an exact temperature and walk away really makes your food taste great. I use a sous vide machine every single day. I cook tons of proteins in it and everything turns out so juicy and delicious. It's pretty much not even fair. Vegetables seem to flow a little bit. I have a buddy that seals forks in with his vegetables so the bag sinks and cooking temperature for vegetables is usually a little bit higher, but they come out perfect. You can do the perfect poached egg in a sous vide. You can even do desserts in a sous vide. My personal favorite is sous vide creme brulee. The next advantage for me is that it can take cheap, inconvenient, sometimes difficult to cook cuts of meat and turn them into delicious, high caliber cheap meals. For example, I love to cook just big chunks of pork in a sous vide, whether that's bone and pork loin roasts or entire pork loins. Pork is really cheap, $2 or less a pound sometimes. People tend to really torch it and, and overcook it in ovens. But if you buy a pork loin for a dollar a pound and cook it in a sous vide, I guarantee you it'll come out better than any pork loin you've ever cooked in an oven. And just for your knowledge, 137 is the ideal temperature that I found to cook pork. Not 138, not 136, 137. You can do other stuff while your food is cooking. This is super convenient. I'll put my food in the sous vide when I go to work, when I go to the gym, when I go fishing, and when I come home, it'll be cooked perfectly. All I'll do is sear it off and eat it. It makes cooking your proteins super, super convenient. You can reheat food in a sous vide to the exact same temperature. Say you have a party and you sous vide steaks for your guests and they don't eat them all. The good news for you is that you can reheat that steak in a sous vide from the previous day and it'll still be that same internal temperature. I won't use the word impossible here, but it is very difficult to overcook food. Having the ability to dial in that exact temperature pretty much eliminates the risk of you overcooking your dad's ribeye. I have run into some strange situations when I've had chicken breasts in the sous vide for like six plus hours, it gets a little rubbery. But as far as overcooking things, the only way to do that is if you set the wrong temperature. You can cook food from frozen. So there's always that time when you might not have quite enough food to feed all of your guests. This is where the sous vide can really come in handy. You can pull a frozen protein right out of your freezer, drop it in the sous vide, and cook it for double the time that's required for a thawed protein. Frozen proteins take double the time, but they still turn out pretty darn good for having no seasoning on them. Just season them when they come out and sear them off. I guarantee your guests won't complain. I know there's some people watching this video that are waiting for the disadvantages of sous vide cooking, so I did come up with one. It is not a time saver. You can obviously grill a steak in 10 minutes. It takes 45 minutes to cook a steak in a sous vide machine, but the food is better. And to be honest, 45 minutes really isn't that much time. I've been using the Innova sous vide circulator for about five years, maybe more now. There's been a lot more that have hit the market since then. I think the two main ones are Innova and Joule. I have some friends that have the Joule. It comes with a cool little app that has a lot of good recipes on it. The only thing I'll say is that Joule 
has to be controlled with a phone, whereas a Nova, I can use my finger and push the buttons on it, which makes it easier. I don't wanna be like tied down by my phone. But they're both excellent machines and they'll both give you good results. So if you get frustrated with some of the results you get, especially when cooking proteins, look into a sous vide machine. I guarantee you the quality of your food will increase.